Hey everybody, welcome back to Schwartzy's Fishing. It's the start of August, so you know what that means. That means it's the start of salmon season in the, in the local rivers here. So today, um, we're going after the pink salmon. Um, it's, they come every odd year, so this is the year that they're in. So, we're at a location here where they're already in the system, and I don't know this river too, too well, so what I'm gonna do is just pretty much walk around, just take over as much much ground as I can and just see all the runs. Um, I don't know what the tide is. I know they like to push up during high tide. So I think I'm gonna start high and then just work my way down because I think low tide, or I guess high tide is later on tonight. So that's what the plan is today. Um, it's a gorgeous day. It's like 30 degrees. So you know what? Can't complain about that. Um, should be a good episode. So stay tuned. All right, so I just hit my first run of the day. You can just see it. There's a shelf kind of coming down and then there's a bit of a pool here, a bit of a back eddy on that back side. And like I said, I got a float set up, just some egg weights, and I got a, just a classic blue grub. Or not blue, what am I saying? Pink piece of grub. So I'm just gonna hit this pocket. There's another, sh another shelf down there. I'm just gonna hit all these pockets on the way down and there's there's gotta be some fish schooled up in one of these pools. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to get it right in between that slack water and that current. Right in there. There's gotta be a couple sitting in there, if there is. That's where they're gonna be sitting. Right in between. And also I can use that current a little bit for my grub to move too. They love that tail action. And when you're trying out new spots, it's always good to change up your depth and because you never know how deep it is. I obviously don't want to be dredging bottom, but first couple tries, try to short float it, and then you can always go heavy, or not heavier, you can always go deeper from there. Especially with this jig setup, you don't want to be hitting bottom, or else your jig is irrelevant. You maybe want to be six inches off the bottom, right in their cruising lane. We're hooked up, here we go. Fish on. As I was just finishing that, there we go. I got it right in that slack water. There we go. Oh, nice head shakes. I love fighting these pinks on this light, light rod. It's just a blast. Oh, look at that. Surprising, there's not many, like you would never know that there's fish here. None are rolling or anything, but who knows? Oh, oh, I thought I lost it there for a second. Crazy pink, oh my goodness. Like I said, I got pretty, I do have braid on, it's like only 30 pound braid, but then my leader line is very, I got just, like eight pound fluorocarbon, so I can't lay the boots to them. But you know what, that's what's fun. It'd be no fun fighting these fish on sturgeon gear. If you gotta use a light rod and it's, it's a battle then. Oh man, this thing's crazy. If I'm betting, I, I'm betting that it's a it's a male, just the way it's fighting. It's, it's laying the absolute hammer to me. Crazy. <laughs> just berserk. Oh man, these things are a blast to fight. Like I said, it's been two years, they come every two years. And usually big, big droves, so. They're back and it's just a start. They go all the way to September, middle of September. But I love getting them early like this because they're usually usually in great shape. There it is, and it's a male, that's what I thought. There it is. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice little 
nice and oh the hook popped out just like there nice little dinner plate let's get a clean release here there it goes that's awesome man those things are a blast let's go get some more that's a good start all right well just release that one you know that's a pretty good start so far can't complain about that that last one i got was a little bit closer to us right in that current so there's definitely they're definitely stacked up in there i'm just surprised they're not really biting or not biting what am i saying surprised they're not uh rolling or jumping you would never know that there's pink in here right now oh there we go another one oh <laughs> As I was saying, the very next cast. Oh, in the exact same spot as the last one. As if very next cast. That is unreal. Like I said, none are rolling, none are jumping. The water, I said, is not the clearest, so you would never know they're stacked in here. But I guess that's why, you know what, if it looks fishy, you gotta put a line in because you never know. That was unreal. Pretty much the exact same spot as the last one. That was sick. Oh, it's going on a big run now. Oh, they love to use that current. Come on, got to turn its head. That's why it's fun fighting on this light gear. Because if, if you had heavy gear, you can obviously just crank them in. But when you got trout gear, lightweight gear, it's just a blast. Yeah, they're definitely hammered in today. They're hammering in the jig today. That is sick. Just crazy head shakes. Oh. Oh, this ripping line out. Come on, it's getting a little closer. I'm using this back eddy that kind of comes back around as leverage for these fish. Can't let it get back in that main current. Another beauty. Nice humpback. Nice. These pinks have no no give up. They do not give up. There we go. Perfect. It's an absolute beauty right in the nose. Can't get any better than that. Woo! All right, we'll just delete, release that other one and man, it's been an absolute fire start. It's been unbelievable so far, all in the same, same pool. Um, man, that's unreal. Didn't know that. Like I said, I still haven't seen one fish actually rise. So you'd never know that they're actually here, which is hilarious. But that's why you always gotta toss a line in if it looks a little bit fishy. Um, so yeah, just gonna get the rod back out there and see if we can get some more. We're hooked up again. There we go. Sorry about the wind. It just kind of picked up. I don't know how, how good the audio is. But we're hooked up. Again, very similar spot. This one could be a female. Yeah, it's a female. Oh man, look at that. Oh, I'm, do <laughs> I'm doing 360s in the water here. That's a nice female right there. That's nice. Beautiful. Nice doe. Bring it up to this beach. 
Oh, it's water skiing. Oh, come on. I'm trying to keep my back against the wind. Oh, that's a nice doe. Oh, beautiful doe right there. Look at the sea lice still on it. Beautiful. But let's get a clean release here. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Probably splashed the camera a little bit. All right, well, a uh, bit of an update here. We've been fishing, we're still catching fish. I didn't really film all of it, but um, remember how I was saying you should be fishing on light gear? Uh, I kind of take that back now. I ended up snapping my rod right there, uh, right on the hook set. So I said go light, but don't go too light because you'll end up snapping your rod on these pinks. So I had to, I had to run back all the way to the vehicle and pick up my bigger, my center pin. A little on the bigger side but it's either that or nothing so yeah we're i'm just gonna head down to the next spot i just want to keep adventuring and see where it goes so we'll see you guys at the next spot first cast in the next in the next spot here in the next pool same kind of thing we got a shelf that goes down to a big pool and yeah right on that far side seam Pretty sure we're hooked into another nice pink here. It's a lot different doing it with this big center pin. There he is. Oh. Bringing me upstream a little bit. I want to fight. I want to fight in that little crevice. You see the channel that goes up there. Am I trying to bring it in right in this little thing? And these things are strong. And you think it'd be easier to bring them in on this? I guess you could say meat stick, but it's got me corked pretty good. Right back into the current. Oh man. They're sure strong fighters. Nice buck. Beautiful buck. Beautiful buck. Oh man, just getting everybody wet. Oh, perfect little beach here, keeps them wet. On the jig, beautiful. Dinner plates for days. We have an update here. Just finished fishing that one spot down there, which I told you guys. I hooked one actually first cast, but then it kind of there was fish there. They just no biters, so um, I don't know how much time left to fish. Uh, so I'm gonna head back up river. There's a couple of spots that I wanted to try out, and uh, hopefully we can get another one there. But so far it's been a spectacular day, and uh, let's get some more. Just got to our last and final spot here. Um, I gotta leave at a certain time. I gotta get a tea time. And I gotta make her make way back home. So we got a pretty good slick here. We've uh, seen a couple of rolls, so maybe we can get one a bite. It's midday, so it's kind of getting tough. The bite's getting slowing down a little bit, but um, spot's good. We got some shade, so hopefully we can get a taker. All right, well, uh, did a few casts here, and uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. So I'll see you guys back at the vehicle. Well, just got back to the car. Um, that's gonna wrap up the video today. It was a blast. It was a great day. Um, obviously, earlier in the day, it was a lot hotter, the bite-wise, not temperature-wise. It got cooking 
as the day progressed, but um, it was good. It was good fishing. Kind of tapered off near the end, which is expected when it gets the sun is at its highest point and uh, not a lot of shade, so the fish weren't too. There was a lot of fish in the river, but just not too bitey at least. So happy we got a little earlier because man, it was crazy the first little bit, but we were still getting them later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was, yeah, it was a blast. Can't complain. Um, summertime fishing, it's never a bad day on the water. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's pink fishing video. And we'll see you guys next time. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button and see what other adventures I go on. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.